Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind, where we've got a lot of things to do. We've got a lot of things to do. Previously, we managed to lift our curse from the evil lich Baladas Uvarith, who lives all the way down there somewhere, and uh, now he wants us to, to resurrect his wife by using a living person that looks suitably like his wife. And it's all a little bit weird, honestly. But we may agree to do it simply because the reward may well be very, very, very much worth the effort. And at the minute, I can't think of a way to actually get rid of him. Presumably because he's a lich and he's got a phylactery somewhere and I don't know where it is because otherwise he won't die. It's kind of annoying. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my headset. I should have really done that before I started recording, but sorry. All right, anyway. I have uh, sorted some books I had in my inventory, although as you can see, everything's still a little bit cluttered. Uh, for the most part, uh, you know, but, but whatever. And uh, I need to dump that somewhere, the scepter of the sepulchre. I don't really need that anymore, I don't think. I could use the rings on it to teleport, but I don't think it's really, sp strictly speaking, uh, necessary anymore, because my Teluvarith ring will take me to all the places that would. I think. But anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Hello, Mr. Librarian Man. Do you have anything we can talk about? I see this land suits you. We welcome you freely, Outlander. While we're here... Barry. Yes, Barry, the lich that lives... The other lich that lives in the ceiling. What can I say? He's family. <laughs> Their own family tomb? Ah, uh, yes, I do apologize for cramming what was supposed to be our reading nook with skulls, but I had a bit of an emergency back home and I had to do something about it. I couldn't leave my family to rot. I think they're past that point. Yes, very droll, Archmagister. Yes, that is why I'm here. It is my hope with a library as great as this. You will fill it with most rare and interesting books. I yearn for a quiet life of study. Even the whispers in this place, even with the whispers in this place, it's quiet and out of the way enough. I far prefer the company of ghosts and books to the rabble of the everyday world. I'm familiar with many books, Art Magister. Is there a specific book you're interested in? Well, I don't know, actually. Trenum Farron? i trying to remember who that is. Ah, it's the guard captain, yeah. Our well, guard captain is quiet, reserved, and well-read, at least when it comes to military liter literature. What do you think about... Ah, oh, we need a brown book. We need a new copy of the brown book for the archives here. Yes, we do. Right, I'm adding this to the list. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we need to speak to uh, Eddie about that, don't we? I have in front of me an actual list on actual paper written in actual pencil of all the things that we need to do at the moment because they are... We have so many things on the to do our to-do list, I felt the need to actually make a to-do list. So uh, on it at the minute, if you're curious, is visit the Ayamusa tribe for Almasaran for trading stuff. We need to deal with the thief that was in the vault by speaking to the guard captain. We need to do something about the prisoners currently in our jail. We need to speak to Fast Eddie to get our seal of the Archmagister back and also to get the brown book and also to do probably a few other things he's got going on, I'm sure. Um, we also need to find him some stuff, don't we, for invisibility potions. That was it. He needs invisibility potions. I'm going to add that. Invis potions. Uh, additionally, I need to speak. Have, when we've got a quiet moment, I need to sit down and speak to Sarah about a few things because I think there's a bunch of dialogue topics we've not covered with her yet. We need to resurrect Baladas's dead wife, of course. I need to have a, at least make an attempt at doing some scroll making. I need to do Azura's quest, which really should be a bit further up the to-do list if we think about it, generally speaking. But hey, we need to do Azura's quest. Uh, we also need to, at some point, at some point, continue the main quest by going to Vivek and speaking to Maramilo. And we need to... Actually, a little birdie told me I need to go speak to Almasiren about Sarah, because she currently doesn't have anywhere to live, strictly speaking. Uh, she, she doesn't really, I mean, aside from her cave in the ground, anyway. 
So I've probably missed a few things, of course, but that's everything that's on my to-do list right now. And yeah, at some point, I think I might consider going to my Vivek hideout and uh, looting it of various things that I want to bring with me. For example, bits of armor and weapons maybe for you. Because uh, I bet Bill or Mittens or a combination of the two are probably wearing some useful armor items we could give you. A Lydon shield and that sort of thing, fists of round the gulf, etc, etc. Lots of useful bits that are just sitting there on a rotting skeleton standing around in the sewers of Vivek right now, which is not doing anyone any good. So, and then there's the question of all my books. I can't get back there right now, though, because my recall spell currently takes me back to the, um, uh, the, the, the Phnem's Necropolis. That's the place. It doesn't actually take me to my Vivek hideout, uh, so... I need to actually go walk back there at some point and then and then sort that out. But anyway, because uh, I, as much as I've enjoyed the Vivek hideout, and I will obviously keep it there in case we need somewhere to stay secret. But um, <clears throat> I think I, I want to get most of my re the rest of my stuff out of there and transfer it here if possible. And uh, just for convenience's sake, I don't need to use a, a recall spell to get back here. I can just use the ring. <laughs> Which then, if I'm not using the recall spell constantly, having it tied to the, uh, you know, the, the the hideout of Vivek, it means I can actually I use it for getting in and out of dungeons and you know the the stuff that recall is generally supposed to be used for. You know what I mean? So, anyway, have another look in the treasury while we're here. Though apparently the treasury is not very secure, as it turns out. So maybe. Would be a mistake to uh, do anything with it. Does this do anything anymore? No, the statue does nothing. Kind of a weird looking statue, though, I know. Oh, yeah, and there's this thing. And there's this, which really does. Aha! I was about to say, looks suspiciously like a lift. Ooh, ooh, I love these. They're not doing any good, just sat around in there. Oh, there's more stuff here. Excellent, more display cases. And a Centurion Archer, guarding it. Wonderful stuff. Oh, this is very cool. I do like this, I have to say. <laughs> I do like it indeed. Um, Sarah. Come on. Yep, there you go. I knew you'd probably teleport to catch her, but I don't want to run that risk. Also, I want to find out where my bloody barracks is, and I actually think I might know a way of finally f figuring that out now, actually. And also... Well, hello there. I didn't notice that. What have we got up here? Oh my word, there's even more. How did I miss all this the first time? I feel like a right idiot. So there's all this stuff too. Including this Telvani coffer. And what do we have in here? Um, some slightly wonky architecture is what we have here. Yeah, no, 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 back down you. Come on. And this. Man, we better put something really important in this one because it's up on the highest possible pedestal. This is this is a kind of annoying though. I, I I feel like I should use the console to disable it, but that might delete like half the damn room or something weird like that. You never know. So let's just get around it, shall we? Salvani coffers are empty apparently, but that we might be able to fix that by by doing a few fines for the prisoners in our dungeon. You see, that's my suspicion anyway. All right, cool. So I've I've now I hopefully explored the treasury a little bit f more fully, which is nice. But anyway, uh, but I want to go see this. Uh... Walk with virtue. Where is my, where, where is my barracks? Where is it? I know how to find out where the barracks is now. Cause get out of the way. If we go down this way. Uh... 
go in here and we have a look at this bloody floor plan, it might tell us where the damn barracks is. Okay, da 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 da, -da. cave system, upper lower entrance, teleportation platform, bedroom, dining room opposite, guest quarters, garden, secret lab, throne room. Anything here? Anything here? Garden, secret lab, noon and air. Guard shelter. Prison barracks, I. So what's this underneath it? G. Man, this is like playing Thief. Looking at a paper map like this with, with, with a layout and everything drawn on drawn on some parchment. It's like playing old, the old Thief games. This is it's quite funny. Like I'm planning a heist. Um, that's the prison. Okay, so the barracks is actually above the prison. So that's why the guard said upstairs. Right, okay. Barracks mess hall as well. Yeah, there's a whole barracks bit there we've totally missed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right then. It's a good thing that exists, isn't it, really? Let's make sure that's closed behind us. All right. I have discovered the location of the barracks, and therefore I have discovered the location of someone who can repair my stuff. Only took me a few episodes, eh? Where has she gone now? Have you considered actually following me through these doors when I walk Please, through them? go ahead, Andrew. I'm listening. We're listening, eh? We'll listen very carefully. Walk through the door after me when I go through it. In future, thank you. All right, Mr. Guard Captain, this I have. Honors us. Please speak. Yeah, I have things to discuss with you. We have a new prisoner, Arch Magister. We caught her sneaking around the dungeon and are detaining her for questioning. Her name is Acidi Gilvain, and that is all we can get out of her. She's resisted all of our interrogations so far, and her unwillingness to divulge information about what she's doing here makes me suspect that there is more to her than the usual dungeon thief. Perhaps we might discuss what to do with her. That one refuses to talk. She spits and swears at our guards, and she's managed to resist the worst magical tortures I could devise. I've had to use more subtle means to get any information out of her at all. You may attempt to speak with her if you wish, but you'll need a calm spell to get her to communicate. She's in cell number two, to your left. What have you figured out about her? We only managed to get her name before I allowed a guard to give her the means to write a letter, supposedly behind my back. However, she may have spotted the ruse, so she hasn't given much way in her letters yet. I also managed to discern that she's a seasoned warrior by leaving one of her shackles loose during interrogation. She disarmed me and then plunged a knife into the, my shoulder in the blink of an eye, and she knew exactly where to aim for the chink in my armor under the robe. You let her attack you. It seemed prudent to exchange a little pain to make her give something away, and I had guards standing by. They were quick to drag me away before she managed to cause me further harm. She went for the shoulder I had been nursing due to a previous injury. If she were as angry as she pretends to be, I would have added another scar to my face. Or she would have added another scar to my face. Instead, she calculated a move far more crippling. She is old Dunmer, but an Ashlander or rival great house, I cannot yet tell. You're looking well, considering. Your healer is very good. However, a seasoned warrior could easily detect the reduced mobility in my left shoulder. It's quite, still quite tender. Sergeant Drellis has been going on easy on me during practice of late. I wish he, she wouldn't. She has the keen senses of an Ashland warrior, and I see a similarity in Seedy's manner. However, an Ashlander woman sneaking into your stronghold doesn't quite fit. I don't see the motive. I'm still far from figuring out this little puzzle. All right. Well, magical torches? Do I want to know? Do you have an interest in my techniques? Part of me is like, I'd rather not hear about it. As a player, I'm like, I'd rather not hear about it. But Fathis, as a character, would be like, yes, I actually do share. Pain is an art form, and interrogation is a constant battle of wits. Extracting pain from someone requires keen empathy and a delicate touch. I keep my subjects healthy. The longer you can prolong pain, the greater the mental anguish. 
The subject can learn to endure simple pain, even enjoy it. An expert torturer must learn these signs and know how to respond. The goal is to break open the subject's mind or to subjugate them to your will. Make them give themselves over to you completely. Tell me more. I use magic to weaken my subject's resistances before applying other spells. I make sure their fatigue is drained and their health continuously renewed. We don't want anyone dying before they talk. I often apply burden to keep them subdued, not paralysis. They cannot talk if paralyzed. If done slowly and methodically, the application alone, anticipation sorry, alone can make a lesser man squeal. I sometimes don't even have to cast demoralize. Once the subject is completely helpless, we apply the pain. My implements are mostly knives, slender tools, and whips. Such tools only hold minor enchantments, but it's plenty for my purposes. After all, we don't want to kill the prisoner. Each is enchanted to apply a different type of pain. I need barely to cut my subjects with a destructive spell to ripple across their flesh. The art is where you apply the pain, and for how long. Uh, interesting. Do you have samples of these devices? I wouldn't part with a single blade in my repertoire, though the enchantments are nothing special. You could easily replicate them yourself. A good torture blade has weak enchantments, applied to a tender area over time, a tiny shock or a fire bloom no stronger than an itch, can turn a hardened criminal into a weeping child. A random element, like a spell with variable strength, keeps them on edge. A prisoner undergoing torture expects pain, but simple discomfort, though slower, is often far more effective. The bindings are just as important, not only for subduing the prisoner, but for keeping them in continual discomfort. I often employ a heavy closed helm, enchanted with both blind and sound. I've seen the strongest men panic when you put it on, especially if they've had a taste of it before. In the past, I've always made sure to use new implements on myself to test their effectiveness. Unfortunately, I have not found anyone here willing to try anything on me. I'm afraid I intimidate my men a little too much. To what extent do you test your implements? If I come up with something truly novel, I test it fully. The process often takes days before I'm broken, and it can take a week to recover. It's not an activity I engage in unless I have a lot of spare time, and as I said, I've not found anyone keen enough to torment me to that extent here. And you had people lining up back in Port Telvanus. Huh, not quite. Just one woman. I won't name names. It was a private affair. I, 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 I don't necessarily want to call him sick, but at the same time, I'm not sure I actually want a demonstration. Well, if you ever hear screams coming from the torture chamber, feel free to come down and observe. I might just do that. We'll find the torture chamber below. There's a hatch leading down to it as you approach the high security wing. Oh, that hatch. Okay. All right, this has been a slightly disturbing conversation, but it's nothing Fathers probably isn't used to, I'm sure. Um, missing silver, yes. The problem must be related to our missing, missing prisoner. We'll likely find it when we find him. Don't count on, on what the guards are saying about Ruvi the Hoarder. They're just trying to pass blame. But Ruvi has not been skulking around your vaults. I've made sure of that. Have you checked the lower treasury? Has anything been stolen down there as well? Relemos Arineth? I have no idea how he managed to get out. We checked the lock on the door and it was still intact. Also, before we threw him in, we routinely checked to see if he was carrying recall or intervention scrolls. He had none. I've, yet se I've sensed numerous guards to search for him, but all returned empty-handed, and yet he continues to skulk right under our noses. We'll be keeping an eye out for him. I apologize for all this trouble, Large Magister. I will make a note to punish myself thoroughly when this is all over. Ugh. Ugh. I don't want to know. Anything to say about my companion here? Oh yeah, so I see. Your guest is always welcome to use the facilities in the barracks. Okay. Unades Velodius. He's the drunk Imperial, right? The man is raving drunk and has been so for days. We've been keeping, well, we've been watching him closely. There's been no change in his behavior. We can't get much information out of him. He's not even worth torturing in his current condition. 
vault code. Yes, as you found out, the vault strong room requires a code to enter. If the wrong code is entered, the intruder is trapped in the Atronach corridor. I used a special key to reset the code. I've had another made for you. Keep in mind, the door destroys the key after it's used. This prevents it from falling into the wrong hands. If you require another, I'll have to have another made, which will take a couple of days. So there's a whole strong room that we've not even been in yet. Okay, cool. I suggest you use it right away. Yeah, it's is it still I guess it's still one, two, three, four, which is a bit daft, but there it is. Um alright. Anything else to say? Prisoners. Yes. I sent my men to pay respects to the great late great Uvereth. We have enough to worry about down here without angering the dead, and his ghost is one I wouldn't dare to cross. He was a powerful mage lord in his day, and he may well retain his power in death. More than you know, mate. I must admit, I'm a bit curious to find out. But no, I have too many duties here. A CD Gilvane. Oh, alright, this is the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorvan Minas? The prisoner calls out that name frequently, now that you mention it. You say she is the Tower Alchemist. I suppose I've not had the chance to meet her. You think she has something to do with this? Yeah, with his, uh, condition? Perhaps I'll pay her a visit. Fellinglith. So, have you spoken with the prisoner? What do you suggest we do about her? What will she face in the arena? Oh, the usual. She'll be matched with an opponent she has a fair chance of defeating. After she arrives in Vivek, her abilities will be tested and it will be decided who or what she will face. If she lives, she will go free. Hmm. I think I'll judge the case myself. Excellent. All will be arranged. You only need only make an appearance in the throne room a week from now. All right, that's going on the list. Hold on. <laughs> Throne room week from now. Now, where actually is the throne room? Because I call I call the, the the bit in my in my secret lab my throne, but it, apparently we're supposed to get an actual honest to goodness throne room here. I don't know if I've seen it yet. Okay. That's all there is to say, isn't there, really, for now? Okay. Empty cell. Ah, hello, Uvadius. Oh my god. No one else in here for now. Where's the new prisoner? Is that her? That looks like her. Arch Magister of House Telvani. How may I serve you? She looks uncannily like the Lady Verena Uvereth. Perhaps I should ask the prison warden about it. Yeah. She kind of does, doesn't she? Oh, look back this way. How's that for a coincidence? Hey, I've got 85 dwarf coins. What is wrong with me? And look how, many, look how many rubies I've got. Oh my goodness. Uh, where is it? Close enough, I guess, yeah. I could kill that Gwar. Those boots are ruined. Hello again, Fillinglith. Yeah, we've already heard this. We'll judge you later. Forget it, Telvani. I'm not talking and I won't go anywhere with you. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Sorry, I'm going to need you to wait outside or something, because this is getting kind of annoying. Um, little conversation? All right, why not? Tell me more about yourself. Though I cannot remember all the details of my past life, it sometimes comes to me in my dreams. I was an Ashlander of that, I am certain. It is an identity so strong, time or even death cannot erase it. 
I'm a warrior and a priestess of Azura. I remember all the spells and I remember how to use sword and spear. These things are a part of me. Ah, so you use swords as well, eh? Good to know. You're interesting, aren't you? She's sort of like... like she's, she's, she's a memory of a person who actually lived that has been dreamed into reality by... Natasha in 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 uh, what do you call it Moonshadow. It's bizarre and kind of cool, and I like it. It it reminds me a bit of the way the lizard men work in Warhammer: Age of Sigma, in that they're all memories that are dreamed into reality by the big slan frog priest guys. Um, it's essentially a similar sort of sort of thing to what's going on here. Basically, it's kind of weird, but uh, it's it's interesting. Uh, it's, it's more of that really cool, weird Elder Scrolls Morrowind-type stuff that the, the, the series these days, I feel, kind of lacks a bit. Um, but never mind. I know, it's a whole other topic, and I don't want to ramble about it right now. Uh, what's on your mind? I was thinking we could go and explore some ruins. I've had the desire to see what's become of the world I left behind ages ago. How much has it changed while I've been sleeping? What's become of the ancient dumb strongholds? What's become of the Ashlanders? How much has the tribunal temple grown in power? What with great houses? Dumb strongholds? They were actually built by the Kaima before Nerevar. When I was young, the strongholds were ancient and in decline, but some were still being maintained by Dunma lords. The great house Redoran was once a loose organization of lords, and some of them still occupied these strongholds. While well, my mother reunited the tribes, while we were at war with the Ashkar Neth, we moved from region to region looking for a home. I believe we visited some of these strongholds, but uh, my memories are not entirely clear. Perhaps a visit to some of these ancient strongholds will spare my memories. Okay. That's going on the to-do list. <laughs> Done my strongholds. Okay. We visited a fair few in our time, so... We know the locations of some of them. All right. How are you today? I don't feel very well. I think I need time to rest and tend my wounds. Ah. So you did take some damage back there. Fair enough. Uh, tribunal Temple? I'm sorry if this offends you, but I do not care for the Tribunal Temple. I do not care for the way they worship mortals made false gods. I do not care for the way they disrespect my mistress Azura. The false gods must be made mortal again to restore the balance. The world is not right the way things are. Azura knows this, and she will have her way in the end. All of that I have little doubt. All right, that'll do for now. Uh, how about you turn to the meeting place? I'll be waiting in my little oasis. I'm sure Krag will enjoy the company. Yeah, you go have a chat with Krag. Uh, which means I can get stuff done around here without getting stuck in doorways all the time. Lovely. Now then, there's this, isn't there? This hatch. And wait, we've already been in the high security bit, haven't we? Oh, nearly took some damage there. So this is the torture chamber. Manacles, torturer's left bracer. Torturer's right bracer. Firebite whip. Chockbite whip. Soul gem with a scamp in it. I don't want to know what that's about. Prison lockbox. Also contains more soul gems. Daggers, shears, poison bloom awls. Bye bye, torture daggers. Oh boy. Torturer's hammer. Pure poison, restore health, restore fatigue. A spiky chair. And a rack, of course. You can't, you can't have a torture dungeon without a rack, after all. I mean, what would the world be coming to without one? Fire pokers. Stuck in a hot steam vent, obviously, and there's a cage above it. Okay, um... I'm gonna just... Oh, and a water pail. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, there's the Torment Helm. Blind 100% and sound 100 points on self. Yeah. Not particularly keen to put that on our heads, I don't think. But, uh, there it is. Just 
gonna go ahead and levitate back out of here and pretend I never saw any of that for the sake of my sanity. Now then, you. Let's see if I have the spells I'm going to need to make this happen. Demoralize, I'll have that. That certainly would work, Galethus' Grim Visage. Really powerful spell, actually. Costs 100 magic to Wait a minute. Why do I have 2,142 Magicka? Does anyone want to explain that to me? Why do I... Hold on, let's... let's I mean, I'd love to have 2,142 Magicka. But that is ridiculous. I don't think even Vivek himself has 2,000 Magicka. That is... Let's take that off. Okay, that dips it to 1,932. What is going on? Why do I have so much Magicka? Taking off the, the belt of the unarmed. That... that uh... I shouldn't have that much magic a game. What are you doing? What are you doing? I should have. Hundred and two magicka. Right now, that's what I should have, not two thousand one hundred and forty two. Yeah, I, I... Restore Magicka. Is it? Are these buggering it up somehow? Let's take this off. Put that on. Can't rest here. Enemies are nearby. Oh, is that so? Interesting. Ah, oh, it's probably her. It's possibly her. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna... For now, all right, let's just put a pin in that for now. I'm going to go upstairs and inspect the barracks. But uh, that is jolly confusing. I don't quite understand it. Oh, while we're at it, I've, uh, I've tweaked the auto duck settings yet again. Hopefully slightly more to people's tastes now. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? You'll have to let me know. Oh, well, this is quite cozy. Welcome, please speak. Greetings, Archmagister. I am Durza Grathmok. I supply, supply officer for your tower guards. I'm also in charge of rationing the liquor supply and maintaining morale, so you'll usually find me here in the mess hall. Do you care for something to drink? I serve all the local liquors and then some. Something you need not worry about, Archmagister. So long as you keep a steady supply of alcohol flowing into the tower, it's my job to distribute, distribute this morale to the troops, and failing that, to smash their heads in if they get out of line. Hmm, huh, okay. Very good, the guards. The boys, I, I mean the other guards, uh, spend most of their time downstairs, like they're supposed to. If we find them hanging out here when they're... Uh, when they're supposed to be on duty, we kick their sorry behinds down the stairs and let Captain Farron sort them out. Captain Farron's not the sort of fellow you want to sort you out, is he really? The warrior's charge? Conjuration skill, hooray! Why do I have 2k magicka? I seriously don't get it. Hello everybody. They're all off duty and just standing the and facing. To you. you know, I'm just gonna, just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave and 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 leave you to whatever the heck it was you were doing. Oh, hello. An armory of sorts. Oh, that's the captain's quarters, I'm sure. Shimava Midium. Night falls on Sentinel. What else has he got? He's got bloody sermons of Vivek up here and all. And none of which I have read before, apparently. Wow. Okay. What is this? Ebony Mage Bane Katana. Interesting. 
Oh, it's it's a it's an armor item. Okay. Huh. Honor guard saber. Blood drinker broadsword. Tribal guardian scimitar. Silver bite rapier. These are all quite good weapons, actually. Hmm. Got a nice collection of stuff up here. I think stealing it might be incredibly ill-advised, though, so... Maybe we shouldn't do that. Okay. Everything seems to be in order. Ah! What is this? A bathtub. And a shower. Funny smelling cake. <laughs> oh, it's a urinal cake. <laughs> Ridiculous. Actually absurd. There's the privy. Uh, crude jokes and riddles. A basin. Okay, I still haven't found the smith, you know. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit lost, actually. I'm back here again. Okay. I can open the doors because they'll be navigate. Uh, what's this way? Ah! Archmagister of House Talvani, how may I serve you? Are you the smith? I think you're the smith. Welcome, Archmagister. I'm uh, Marana Relis, Drillmaster. You're most welcome to practice your skills here. Just make sure you don't hit the practice dummy with bare hands. It's a hard one, so you might break your fists on it. I can give you a demonstration if you like. If you prefer to practice alone, let me know and I'll leave you be. Hmm. First things first, repair my stuff, please. There we go. Second things first, uh, well, demonstration then. Go on then. You enwa! Oh, you're waving your hammer at it and it's, it's, okay, there we go. Now you're, now you're getting the right idea. Fully functional training dummy, no obviously. Escape. Yes, yes, fine work. Can we finish up now, please? Now you die! It's an orcish warhammer, I think it is. Oh, I like the orcish warhammer. Right, there we go. Yeah, we've. Thank you for the demonstration. Yeah, you're in charge of repairing all the weapons here. Do you offer training of any kind? Block, blunt weapon, and athletics. Do you know what? If I ever find myself with more money than I know what to do with, and a, a pressing need to uh, actually get good with blunt weapons, you will be the person I come to. For now, though, thanks for the repairs. I'm going to head back downstairs. And Why is my magic so screwed up? I don't want to have 2,000 Magicka that is cheating just to a ridiculous degree. Tell you what, we will deal with this present out, but uh, I'm going to go away and see if I can sort out this little glitch first. All right, everyone, I'm back. And uh, for now, at least, it seems to be fixed. Basically, what I did was I cast Galethus Grim Visage uh, like, like 20 times, because obviously it uses 100 Magicka. To, to use up all of my 2k magicka. Then I rested for 24 hours. And then I got a little message at the bottom of the screen saying Galethus curse has been lifted. And everything's back to normal now. I've got 104 out of 102 magicka. Mostly because I'm wearing that little belt. Uh, or something that boosts it slightly. But but now it's back to normal now basically. I'm back to my good old fashioned 100 or so magicka. Which is what I want. Because, frankly, having a robe and a shield that restores magicka constantly for three points every second is bad enough without me having 2,000 goddamn magicka. That is ridiculous. I would eventually use it all, casting spells all the time, but nah, it's silly, it's silly. It's a little glitch in the system that has now been corrected, thankfully. Anyway. What are we doing? Right, we're dealing with this woman here, so... I can use this to demoralize her, although it's within 25 feet, so I might end up demoralizing everyone in here and cause absolute chaos. So maybe that's not such a great idea. 
what I could do instead is uh, I could use Arian's Dominator. Command creature, humanoid, 10 levels, 15 seconds in touch. Hopefully she's 10, she's 10, level 10 or less. Uh, and I could repeatedly use that to get her to follow me down to the tomb. Um, I may need to get her to stop attacking me in the first place, because I bet once I open that door, she's going to start attacking. So, calm creature. There we go. I've got scroll of Dedris's masterful eye. I don't know if that's calm. Does that work on her? Or does it have to be calm humanoid? Well, let's find out, shall we? I have you. Here we go. Yep. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Now you I die! I don't think it worked. I could just get her to follow me while punching me, though, mind you. So that's always that. Also, um, allow me to put back on Travisar's face while we're here. You will suffer greatly! You will suffer greatly! <laughs> Alright, let's use Aaron's Dominator. Yeah, that's right. You're coming with me. Come on. I think she can run reasonably fast. You gotta be wary of unarmed characters though. Sometimes they seem harmless and then suddenly they've got you on the floor you and they're re die. repeatedly punching you. Okay, we need to go to the library. It's so weird how we get to the tomb through the library, but whatever. Come on, come along. You will die. How do I... Oh my god, that's not the right button at all. Okay, uh, I'm gonna levitate down there. I have no idea if you're gonna manage this without dying, though. We can hope. Okay, she has. Ah, you're not gonna follow me through without me using Dominate on you, are you? This is the end of you, sweat! There we go. Come on! Over to this. Excellent. And we need to go this way. Yep, yeah, yeah, come along. Might have to use a soul gem to recharge this glove if I've got one. Where's she gone? She's over there. Why? This way, come on. Didn't have enough charge, alright. Well. Oh, crumbs, I don't have a soul gem that's... That's a problem. That is a problem. Alright, one second. Doodly 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 Scroll of... There's gotta be something useful here. Hang on a minute, do I have one of those pages still? Oh, I do. Hold on. Book of Daedric Summoning 2. This might do the job. Well, screw you two, game. All right, fine. Uh, ten pace boots. Oh, yeah. We need something that will summon something. I'm sure I've got a useful bit of kit in here somewhere. Summon Frost Jatron. I think I'll probably do. Oh, no, Golden Saint. Even better. Right, excellent. Now I need to soul trap you. And now I need to kill you. Sorry, nothing personal. Right, jolly good. All right, okay, now. <laughs> okay. Are you serious? Leave me alone. Stop trying to fight me. They just try and get it to follow me. Yeah, yeah, this way, come along. Come along. This way. No, stop going back into your corner. I need you to come this way. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's a bit further this way. I'm just going to punch me in a bit and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drown. I can see it happening. Yep, this way. Come on. A bit further. You can do it. I believe in you. You will die! What a thoroughly ridiculous quest. Right. <laughs> This could have been designed slightly better, I must admit, but fine. 
Come on. Yeah, we're nearly there. This is Hello. Ah, oh, excellent. This woman is perfect, he says as Fathus continues to duck and dodge blows. <laughs> she looks so much like my dear Verena. Does that include the fist fighting part? Now, I need this woman slaughtered. Would you do the honors? Oh, and please try not to mess up her pretty face in the process. With pleasure. You will die! Oh. Right. Will that do? Ah, she's got a note. I'll read that in just a moment. I am pleased, Father Sullivan. You have done well. You have the making... Oh, my phone's just gone off. Sorry, Fathers. I'll be back to you. I've just got a text. <clears throat> anyway, uh, you have the makings of a true necromancer, so as a reward, I shall imbue you with suitable powers. Now, leave me. I, I have much work to do. You've gained a new power, Uvareth's gift. Okay, so this is already proving to be worth it. I still don't like the fact that this guy is here. I want him to gone eventually, but uh, I'll take his gifts for now. Also, I, I really hope that you could actually hear my phone going off in the background there, otherwise that joke would have completely failed to land. Uvarith's gift, eh? Man, I have so many things, I, uh, powers I don't ever use, like Moonshadow, when do I ever use that? Necromancer's Command. I... When did I get that? Maybe that's what it is, actually, because I don't see anything else there. Summon a Bone Lord, a Greater Bone Walker, and another Bone Lord. Yeah, I got Protective Spirit as well. Sanctuary, 75 points for 10 seconds myself. Although, I don't really need that these days. And the Ancestral Ghost, which I don't really need either. But hey. Whoa. Okay, he just unceremoniously booted me out. Fine. Taking these fire salts, though. There's nothing you can do about it. And, that, and this emerald. You old git. The ancestor spirits can't be angry with me if they're not dead yet. Um, hello. I didn't mean to come in here, actually. What was that? I meant to come in here. Right. Let's have a look at this note. This note is addressed to JT. Brother, please tell our mother I'll be unable to attend her fa annual family dinner. I have already sent word to my sister. She's taking care of the children. I have been unexpectedly detained, but I hope to be home soon. A CD. I wonder if that's code. I wonder if that is code. That's fe that. Just, just looking at that. That feels very, very like you gotta read you gotta read the third letter in every word or something on every odd or even numbered line to get the actual message type type kind of a deal. Um, could not be. Could be a genuine actual letter, but uh, something about it screams this is code to me. Anyway. I have um <clears throat> dealt with the prisoner. I wonder if the guard captain's got anything to say about it. This doorway is quite irritating, you know. Oh, yeah. See, it's mocking me now. Now it chooses to work. <laughs> Bloody thing. Hello, Trenum. It's all good to see you. Welcome back, Arch Magister. What can I do for you? I've sorted out what's a face. I won't pry. I'll just assume you've dealt with her. Yes. Yes, I have. I've already been to the high security Arch window. Magister of House Delvalli. Oh, hello. How may I serve you? Excuse me. You can serve me by getting out of the way. Thank you. Also, just notice this crumpled linen. Oh, okay. I thought it was another note or something, but no, it's just a bit of cloth. All right. What day was it yesterday, by the way? 22nd of Sun's Dawn. So, which was day 190. So, one day 197, I need to be in my throne room, wherever the heck that is. Because I need to be there in a week, right? It's written 197 on the old to-do list, right? Uh, speaking of which, Arch where Magister is my throne room? Delvani. How may I serve you? I'm beginning to think I need to just take that copy of the floor plan. 
Honestly, I, I really am beginning to think I just need to take it with me. <laughs> I wonder if I can get a duplicate made. I'm not sure. Um, possibly can, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe we'll give that a try. Uh... Oh, and I need to try out the, the strong room as well. That's another thing I need to do. Right, where are the floor plans? First things first, where the heck is the throne room? N, throne room. N, N, N. It's right up there, apparently. How have I not noticed that before? What's J opposite it? J is my bedroom. K is the guest quarters. Oh, maybe, maybe I... Maybe I just forgot about it. Is that the throne room up there, that bit? Okay, right, fine. Um, document is chained to the wall and chained for five spells. You cannot take it. Damn it all! All right, fine. Right, maybe I can get a copy off the off what's-his-face. I say hello, librarian. There's a part of me that's disappointed Welcome, that you're not an orangutan, but... Uh, I feel as though I should know you. Yeah, I'm your Arch Majesty. You definitely should. Oh God, he's he's senile. <laughs> oh dear, the Brown Book. I'm gonna remember to do that. I need to see if Fast Eddie about the Brown Book and a bunch of other stuff. Can't get a copy of the floor plan. No, I guess not. Never mind. So by throne room then. Let's take a shortcut, shall we? My tower is so damn big. I have to use teleportation to get around it. Crazy stuff. No, not the lower tower, but fine, whatever. Feels like it's been ages since I've been in the lower tower, honestly. Oh, um. I need to see Alma Saren, but I need to see him with, when, oh, when Sara is with me. Hello, Salmima. Company, friend. Welcome. Would we care for some breakfast? Definitely. Starving, I'll take whatever you have. Today, I added something a little special to my regular omelette. The crab, yes, crab omelette. Fath is his favorite. Thank you very much. Whew. Re-equip Mithras's walking stick. So we can move a bit faster, but uh, yeah. Brilliant stuff. In fact, you know what? Well, we're just about the, about the, the estate here. Why not wear the feather boots as well? So we can run even faster. Anyway, where, where did the crab omelette get to? There it was. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, it makes our footsteps sound different too. Nice. Right. Man, you remember the days when this was just a, just a very small tower? It basically consisted entirely of just this here, and that was it. Feels like a long time ago already. Arch Magister of this gigantic estate. And if I was using building up Uvareth's grave, I could I could make it even bloody bigger. As in I could build a freaking town Majestic around the place. Of House Delvani. How may I serve you? Still tempted. I am still there is a part of me that is still tempted to try and try and install that somehow and see see if I can make it work. Because it would be kind of awesome for a future volume of the Let's Play. Part of me is really disappointed that, by, that, that I can't activate something cool by pressing some very specific keys on the uh, harpsichord here, but hey-ho. Now then, uh, we want to go up. Oh, there it is, the throne room. Yeah, no, I haven't seen this before because this is a recent addition, isn't it? It's opposite the, 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 the top exit door on the roof. Okay, hello, hello. Everything is in order, good. There it is, folks. The throne. So I need to be here to sort of pass judgment in, in a week from now-ish. For the, oh, this is cool, man, this is cool. This is very, uh... 
It's very, uh, it's a bit Dragon Age Inquisition, actually. That was the one bit of that. Well, well, I liked a few things about that game. But one of the bits I really liked about Dragon Age Inquisition was the whole bit where you sit on the throne and pass judgment on people. Uh, that, that was quite fun. I really enjoyed that. Arch Magister of House Delvani, how may I serve you? You can serve me by telling me if there's anything hidden away under there. I don't think there is. But it's worth checking. This place is full of secrets. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, there's the throne. It's a fine-looking throne, too. I, oh, my God. What are you... Right. I mean, it's 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 not bad. I mean, it's got a footstool, which is nice. It doesn't look particularly Telvani-ish, though, does it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I had one criticism, it's that it just doesn't... It doesn't have like a Telvani logo on it anywhere, so any any hell or anything like that that screams that this is specifically Telvani. It just kind of looks like a generic fancy chair. But it is quite the chair, don't get me wrong. Also, someone could totally assassinate me by loosening these crystals while I'm sat in my throne. I could kill squeak, 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 squeak. Like, put the screw loose, and then as soon as he sits down, kaplonk, dead Arch Magister. I might have to do something about that, you know? I'm not sure I like that at all. That just seems prone to disaster. Look at that. Oh, dear. Anyway. Right. Uh, let's teleport down to... The dungeon. Not even that. The Warrens. The very deepest, bottomest point, more or less. I like that we have a, an ancient series of caves and warrens and stuff right down in the beneath the bedrock of my citadel. It's it's just something that you feel like you ought to have when you're an evil wizard, right? Just I'm glad that it's there. The deep tunnels, yes, glorious stuff. Hello. Krog and I had much to talk about in your absence, but I'm eager for more adventures. Well, adventures is putting it a bit optimistically. Come along. I need to see some, see about some sort of accommodations or something that's a bit more than just this. I know you like it down here, but that's because you're a lunatic. Uh, all right. Let's use the ring again. Uh, lower tower. What do you want of me, Outlander? Just follow me, please. Uh, tower storage, brilliant. Right, well, you. There you are. Up here, come on. Any minute now. Heaven's sake. Do I need to do I need to tell you to stay close again? Um There doesn't seem to be option. Whatever. Right, whatever, this will have to do. I'm a siren. Recent shipments. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get on that. I, I promise. At some point. Now then. Um, there she is, Sarah. Oh yes, I've noticed your friend. She's quite unusual. Will she be staying in your tower? I can arrange to supply her with any amenities she requires. Just let me know what your companion requires, and I will take care of it. Okay. Now oh, you finally made it up the stairs. Amenities. How thoughtful. I needs a few, but I will consider your offer. I suppose I wouldn't mind a steady supply of good food and drink, perhaps a few books to read, though I can always make a trip to your library. There's not much more I can ask for. Um, are you sure? You may ask anything of me. I'm Archmagister, after all. I don't know what else I can ask you for. Well, there might be one thing. Ask away. Well, if you could find me a small statue of Azura, I would like to make a small shrine to her in my abode. If it's not too much trouble, of course. I'm not sure where you would find such a thing, since small votives to the Daedric Lords have probably been banned by the temple. Uh, it's probably too much to ask. Hmm, okay. Uh, you know anything about this? 
All will be arranged. I will have food and drink sent to her, a humble abode in the dungeon on a daily basis. Hmm. We do have a, a Daedric expert, who is also our alchemist. We can talk to, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not sure I had to talk to her about that. Uh, perhaps some of the more shady or eclectic traders around would have such a thing hidden away. Ah. I see. We need to go shopping. I understand now. Oh, for heaven's sake. There you are. What do you want of me, Outlander? I'd like you to just follow me through the bloody doors correctly, if that's too, not too much to ask. For heaven's sake. All right, uh, let's see. What else do we need to do right now? Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff is what we need to do right now. Looking at my list, and it's only getting bigger. It's only getting bigger. 